G'day, Dean. Good to see you, mate. Brent from Solar Edge here with you today. So we're going to be asking you a couple of questions about this beautiful home that we can see behind us. How'd the job fall into your lap? Yeah, it was a referral, which is always good. Most of our business comes through referrals, so always nice to do a good job for one customer and have that message get passed on to someone else. So Yeah, yeah I mean, times are, are challenging at the moment. Everybody knows that inflation is definitely biting, and that's the thing that will really stand the test of time is, is the quality of your work, uh, the relationships that you build with your customers to pull through those referrals. Would you say that that's taken a bigger part of your of your business focus these days is really making sure that you're getting the best referrals that you can out of every job? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's a nice tight community in the Blue Mountains. So yep. yeah, word of mouth is always nice to hear. And, and you've got a long history there to draw on as well, because how long have you been on the solar coaster now? Yeah, absolutely. This will be hit the uh, 10 year mark in a couple of months. So, a decade. Yeah. Yeah, long time. This particular house here, where we're looking at some interesting roof lines there, it's certainly not your typical home. Tell us about you know some of the challenges on this project. Yeah, correct. Nice big, beautiful home. In particular, the big gable windows there, giving us some challenges with the wiring. There's a few other design requirements that we needed Solar Edge to help us overcome, which we can take a look at soon. I'm, I'm looking at a roof like this. I'm thinking you got some cathedral ceiling in there as yeah, well? Yeah, everywhere. Of course you do. So <laughs> conduit, chasing conduit, these sorts yeah. of things. A lot of cable pulls, which are going to be challenging as well, but yep. you guys are up to the challenge. Yep, that's the, it. The cable Cable whisperers, as you may be. <laughs> um, and, and what about the technology you're choosing here? Obviously, Solar Edge. We've had a long-standing relationship. We've worked together for a long time. Yep. But every job, some some installers like to think that the roof whispers to them and it tells them what they should be choosing. What, what made you choose, you know, Solar Edge in this particular case? Sure. Solar Edge is the core inverter technology that we use. Being in the mountains, the positive impact that a power optimizer has on a shaded roof. So it's generally our go-to here in particular, just with how close we need to be to some of the dormer windows to mm -hmm. to fit in the size of the array that's needed here. Yeah, it was just a no-brainer. Getting the maximum yield off that roof due to the design constraints, but also from the production of the hardware, it just makes, it ticks a lot of boxes for yep. you. Yep. Um, any particular things that the customer responded well to when it came to the technology you're putting forward? They were really guided by us with what products Good we trust. used because they didn't do much research. They sort of said, oh, well, such and such was happy with the job. I'm happy to get your advice. So yeah, they, they didn't need too much explaining for them to be happy with the products that we offered, so. All right, well, should we go for a bit of a wander around and have a look at the various different bits that you, you're dealing with here? That'd sure. be great. Right. Thank you. Cheers. The guys are just halfway through setting up the, uh, the edge protection here. We'll be installing the, the racking system first and then moving on to the solar edge power optimizers. Uh, and then the, the Jinko satin panels, obviously last of all. So Dean, on this particular job, we're using the S440 optimizers. I think that's what I'm holding in my hand here. Correct, yep. Excellent, gotcha. With a roof like this, you've got quite a bit going on. What what drove you to using the S440s and talk a little bit about the design challenges on the roof? Yeah, for sure. So the, the main motivator on this site would have been the big dormer window there. This roof's facing pretty much directly west. So for a period in the morning, there's gonna be intermittent shade cast by the dormer window across there. So yep. conventional string system would have been heavily impacted. Impacted. So yeah, Solar Edge was the best choice here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the beautiful things with the S440s is they start up in such low light conditions. It only takes eight volts to get one of these working. So that's going to have obvious benefits for the home. When you're talking about a west facing array here, the light's going to be hitting it late in the day, running late in the day really helps things crank along. As far as your strings, with Solar Edge, you're always working with the longest strings you can. With this one, what, what sort of configuration are we looking at on the roof? Yeah, so we're going into a 10 kilowatt home Genesis today. So mm -hmm. we're going to be running two strings of 15 panels to keep those string lengths it's like he's done can, it before, so. right? He, he knows the product. <laughs> uh, when you're working with Solar Edge, it's always a good idea to work with nice long strings. It gives you the most performance out of the system, and that's exactly what this home demands. So that's fantastic. Dean, we talked about a little bit earlier about how we've got the Solar Edge system on this side, but there's also an interesting part of this because we can see the size of the home. I can see some what looks like ducted aircon. You've also got an AC couple battery. So all in all, there's a significant amount of energy that's going to go into the home. Can you talk a little bit about the the loads and you know the sort of forecast, I guess, on the how much energy you see this home needing long term. Yeah, sure. At the moment, the consumption's quite high mm. between the air conditioning, space heating and cooling. Pool. Pool, secondary dwelling with an entire flat down the back yeah, as well. Yeah, right, another dwelling um, as well, right. Yeah, so the, the consumption's quite high. So um, but the versatility of the Solar Edge products with ability to add a, a second inverter and, and system down the track if they need to, Yep. Um, in conjunction with the efficiencies of the, the optimizers, yeah, it's a good solution. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're finding now, I mean, in 2024, we've released a whole bunch of new products and accessories with Solar Edge that really make some of these sort of more complicated sites simpler. Uh, we've got wireless meters these days, so you can hook up wireless meters and you avoid trenching because 
they may not want to have their garden dug up, right? Um, we can also have other things where you can tie up a wireless meter on an external production system and tie in, you know, inferior technology from other brands into the Solar Edge system. So you've got all of these options in, that help you to solve your problems, a bit of a Swiss Army knife with our brand. On this particular job, Dean, you've got a mix of products involved with the Solar Edge system generating the energy, and you've gone with an AC couple battery in this case. The, the customer's chosen that. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about some of the decision making that went into that? Yeah, sure. So the customers come through as a referral. They just had similar experiences, similar uh, range of products with another client of ours. So mm -hmm. they were happy with the, yeah. the option of AC couple battery that we've offered here. So, yeah, yeah, awesome. And and obviously, uh, these, some of these things, when you're buying a battery, it's a big emotional decision, right? I, I always describe it as like the solar edge system is like the brains of the system, but the battery is the heart because it's the most emotional part of it, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you've also done quite a few solar edge batteries though over the last uh, 12 months, 18 months since yep. we released the battery. How have they been going for you? Yeah, really happy with the flexibility that they offer, particularly when a client's looking for a whole home solution. Yep. The, the solar edge inverter in conjunction with the battery, car charger, hot water controller, great suite of products, the way all that works together under one up. I've got my uh, EV charger, two batteries at my place mm -hmm. and a load controller. I, I just love the fact that in my app, in the my solar edge app, I can quickly just reprioritize as the seasons change. Like right now, yeah, sure. we're coming through autumn into winter. So we're producing less energy, still producing more than the average string system, mm -hmm. but we're certainly making a bit less energy than we do in the middle of summer with long days. Yep. So being able to rearrange it in the my solar edge app and say, hey, I want my batteries full in the morning, then my hot water, and then my car is a lower priority in winter. In summer, when I've got abundant energy, I'll often go the EV charger first, followed by yep. the hot water and then the batteries last. Yep. So being able to switch that without a phone call to you yeah, is yeah. obviously going to be a nice thing for the customers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And just the fact that the solar edge system, clean and easy to use in that space. Then Very user friendly. Yeah, yeah. everything laid out really nicely in the app. So yeah, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. Another thing which is coming up for me as well is I'm getting a lot of calls through because I take care of the whole of New South Wales and the ACT and there are different networks that we're working with and they have different rules and regulations and these keep evolving. We're, we're seeing a real trend now that the networks want to have more of a say in how much you connect to the grid. Are, are you seeing in your networks here a bit more control being enforced with regards to export limits and how much inverter capacity you're putting on the systems? Yeah, things are pretty lenient for at the moment with um, Endeavor Energy network which is the, the main area that we install in but it's only a matter of time before that changes yeah. what we're seeing in, in Queensland and other states and even other network areas in New South Wales it's only a matter of time before the stricter rules around export limits etc. So. Exactly so I mean I've certainly heard stories about customers where they just don't have an option for an AC coupled battery because they've used up all of their network approvals and then they the only option is DC coupled if their inverter supports it. Yep. With Solar Edge obviously our main single phase inverter lines are all supporting DC coupled batteries straight out of the box makes it really simple for those customers customers in those network constrained environments to keep building up and keep being independent from the grid with one, two, three batteries, more panels than you would normally put onto any sort of AC coupled system. Yeah. It gives a lot of choice for them. Yeah, for sure. And the advantage mm -hmm. of being able to have an additional SDC claim on the yeah. panel with the expansion of the system. Exactly. Because the battery is involved. Yeah. Um, with panels yeah. being so affordable these days, STCs really make a difference. Yep. For yeah. sure. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.